I gotta confess something here. I have an announcement to make, and that is... <laughs> Hello YouTube, my name is Kupalimpo, welcome to my channel and welcome to part 2 of me reacting to Taylor Swift album 1989. Taylor's version. If you haven't watched part one, I highly recommend you start with that and then you're more than welcome back here. Then you will know you need to grab something to drink because in case I say banger to a song, we take a little sip. This is Pepsi, by the way. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like. If you are new here, hello, my name is Kim Polimpo. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything on this beloved channel. Do it for Penguin Todd as well. Thank you. And if you have any thoughts, recommendations, or cool facts about the songs, leave it in the comments. Drop a comment or two. Thank you. So, where are we? We are at song number eight. So, let's go with Bad Blood. Cause baby, now we got bad blood. You know what used to be bad love. So take a look what you've done. Cause baby, now we got bad blood. Hey! Now we got problems. And I don't think we can solve them. You made a really deep cut. And baby, now we got bad blood. Hey! I need to pause here because this feels like the first song. It feels like I'm listening to a whole new album now. This is the intro. This is the introduction. I like it. I like it. Let's continue. Did you have to do this? I was thinking that you could be trusted. Did you have to ruin what was shiny? Now it's all rusted. Did you have to hit me where I'm weak? Baby, I couldn't breathe and rub it in so deep. Salt in the wound. Love the melody. The chorus is really cool. That's a lovely too. That line. If you love like that, blood run. Cause baby, now we got bad love. That line was good, I was about to say. Hey! I knew it. I knew the hey was gonna be there. Oh my god! No. Yeah, as I said, it felt like the first song of a new album. I I like it. I just need to do one little thing here. Bad blood metal cover. Do we have a metal cover? Of course we have. Of course we have. Because the first thought that came up with my, my mind, I, I'm usually doing a lot of covers of every album I'm reacting to. And I was thinking immediately, I should do a cover of this. And maybe like metal or more punk vibe because this was very like stadium friendly. I can definitely see and hear that she is uh, performing this live. Really good song, really cool, good attitude in it. Uh, I don't think I need to talk about what the song is about. It's pretty clear that it's about, okay, it doesn't need to be Taylor here. It doesn't need to be a breakup with Taylor. Could be like she, she's telling a story or got inspired from another breakup. I don't know. I guess or assume that it's her breakup. And and this was like the dark side of the breakup that she she was she was talking about. Uh, she talked about I think it was in the second verse, like uh, put 
put salt in the wounds. And then the the the, the pre-chorus, the, the bridge before the last chorus was pretty nice. Band aids don't fix the bullet holes. Like that line. I love the vibe throughout the whole song. I love the melody. I love the attitude. Um she's singing amazing in this in this song and you know, in every song, but but particular this song. The attitude in her voice fit the lyric and the, the song overall. Really good. Really nice. So, I'm gonna head to the score. And uh, based on my face expressions and my thoughts about the song, you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a good score. It's gonna be a good score. And uh, yeah, I will give it a 9. I give it a 9. This song is, you know, based on the attitude... She doesn't take any crap in this song. It's worth a little banger. Take a sip, people. Take a sip. Nice song. Really nice song. Like it. Does she play this live? Let me know in the comments. If she doesn't, she should. Let's continue with the next song called Wildest Dreams. Let's get out of this town Drive out of the city Away from the crowds I thought heaven can't help me now Nothing lasts forever But this is gonna take me down He's so tall and handsome as hell He's so bad but he does it so well I can see the end as it begins My one condition is Building up this so good. Say you remember me standing in a nice dress, staring at the sunset, babe. Red lips and rosy cheeks. Say you'll see me again, even if it's just pretend. Say you remember me. Yes. So predictable, but so good at the same time. Here we have it, the first ballad of the album. And what a way to do it. First and foremost, I want to talk about the lyrics. You know, she's playing with words here in a really smart way. She has me in the lyrics. And uh, yeah, really good lyrics. It's very obvious what the song is about is to remember, remember the good times in uh, our relationship that ended so i'm not gonna go so much into details about that but you know the lyrics was really good and then we have the melody i said she's playing with the words very good she's playing with the notes and the melody really good as well and if you aren't new here on this channel you know i'm a sucker for ballads I like myself a good ballad and uh, this is definitely one of them. This is a really good ballad. I'm very surprised 
in a very positive way. It's a damn good song, people. It's a damn good song. This album is very surprising. The only song that has gotten like a lower score, and it's not even that low. It's a 6.5, and that was the first song, Welcome to New York. And the rest has been 9, 10, 9, 7.5, 9, 7, 9. And then we are at Wildest Dreams. And, you know, this is a really good production, really good written song. It's a ballad. You know, I like it. It felt like a, a Disney song as well. Like, like like this Let It Go vibes in a very good way. I'm not saying that in a bad way. It's a, in a really good way. It felt massive. It felt powerful. And I have really high volume here because my ears are damaged from the good old days when I was playing in a metal band. That's, according to me, the best way to experience music have loud, loud in your headphones. I don't like when it's like soft, soft volume. Turn it up to 11. If you have seen that movie, you know. I'm just gonna head to the score and I'm gonna give this song. First of all, I forgot to say it's a banger, people. Take a sip, take a sip. Yeah, we can take a little sip of this. This is apple juice with alcohol. Taylor, you get yourself a 10. Well done, well done, well done. Very good song. It's a 10, people. This album is amazing. It amazed me in a very good way. I like this. Let's keep it that way with the next song. How You Get The Girl. This song was really, really good recorded, really good like produced and everything. It's pretty, pretty clear to me what the song is about. It's about re regretting the breakup and that's a bad thing, you know? I, I, I think I said it in the last video, you know, you, you, you break up with someone for a reason. Um, you can't just go back and be like, ah, I miss you. You know, so, sometimes, you do, and sometimes you, you realize that this was a big mistake. And, uh, you know, sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't. That's what the song is about. That it's been six months and then he come back and then, you know. But yeah, the song overall is good. I, I, I got this movie feeling once again, but not a Disney movie this time. It's a bubblegum pop song and it fits like a bubblegum movie, if you know what I mean. It's, it's about those cheesy 
cheesy uh, love stories when uh, you break up with someone and then oh i want him back or i want her back i think that this song could fit that movie pretty good overall it's a good song but but nothing more nothing less nothing wrong with the song but it didn't like amaze me in the same way like other songs in this album but it's still a good song it's still a good song so i'm gonna head to the score and uh, i'm gonna give it a 6.5 it's a 6.5, so it's still a good song. It is a good song, but it's not like a holy shit moment for me. It's more like, yeah, it's a good song. It's good vibe, good melody, but nothing more, nothing less. So far, you know, this doesn't take away anything from my thoughts of the album so far. So far, this album has been really good, really nice, and uh, I'm so looking forward to the next song. And the next song is called This Love. I'm thinking about Maroon 5 when I hear that title. Production wise is very, very good. How she's singing, I talked about the guitar and everything feels so light in the song. My highlights in the song are the verse. There's nothing wrong with the chorus, but the verse spoke more to me than the chorus. It's once again a ballad, but it doesn't hit me in the same way as Wildest Dreams. Um, but it's still a good ballad, for sure. But, you know, it's big shoes to fill when you get Wildest Dreams and then this love. I love the lyrics as well. I forgot to say it. I, I, I like the lyrics here. But my highlights are the chorus, not the chorus, the verse, and uh, how they have produced and recorded the song. Very dreamy, very light, very, you know, felt like... You know, I was walking on clouds while listening to this song. It was such a nice vibe in it. And my score will be a 7.5. It's a good ballad. I, I have one question, but I, I need to answer it to myself before I continue. Because I saw, I, I went through this album and I saw like the five last songs on this album, Taylor's version, are, from my understandings, new songs. So... I have I Know Places, Clean, Wonderland, You Are In Love, and New Romantics. That is... Okay, I, I need to go to Google here. So yeah, New Romantics are like 
the last song in the original album. My question now is, should I go with the rest and then part three will be this from the vault? I have a couple of songs, so I, I, I don't need to decide now. So let's go with the next song called I Know Places. this song is about i think this song is about her like she is a celebrity she is one of the biggest celebrities in the world one of the biggest artists in the world she is exposed wherever she goes i think this song is about like media they have the guns they are the f she and her loved ones around her are the foxes. But she knows places. She knows places where to go, where to hide. And overall, the song is is pretty good. It has a good attitude in it. I, I like how she plays with the melodies and the words once again. And she, ha she has this attitude once again that, I'm, that I really like. Continue with that. And you have me. So, yeah. Overall, it's a good song. I'm gonna head to the score. And the score overall overall of this song will be another 7.5. We move on with the next song called Clean.
finally clean. She describes it in a very good way of being clean. And I'm not talking about, she, she's talking about being clean and staying sober, but it's not being clean from drugs or alcohol or something. It's, it, it's getting clean from a toxic relationship. Um, that's my theory here. And you know, toxic relationship can be as toxic as drug abuse and stuff like that. The first days are the hardest. First weeks are the hardest. The drought was the words that she's singing in, in the beginning. 10 months in, you're staying clean, but it's still tough sometimes. You know, we, we, we all been there. No, not, not everyone. If you're in, in your first relationship and things are good, it's going to stay good. Promise. Jokes aside, um, that is my cat. I think she wants to go in. Hello, star. Yes. You want to hang with me? Yes. You know, you are the big star. She knows it. Song is really good. I loved the electronics here. The only, and, and, and this is my taste only. So it's not what, what she should have done. It's what, what I should have done. If I wrote this song and re record this song, I would have it a little bit more massive in the chorus. It was still good, but I felt I missed something in the chorus here, like more massive. And I know this is not what, what Taylor does in this song. Um, she has ma massive choruses, but not in this song. In my musical taste, I would have enjoyed this a little bit more if like the drums were heavier and maybe more instruments, I guess, more massive. I guess, but it doesn't take away so much of my overall score and my overall thoughts about this song. It, it doesn't mean that, oh, it's a bad song now, no. But I, I think I would have been like, yes, that there we have it. Overall, it's a good meaning. I love the song, I love the lyric, and it's gonna be a good score. It's gonna be a good score, people. She continues to amaze me in a good way. And uh, this song will get, at first listen, an eight. I have decided now to divide this album into three parts because it's 21 songs. But as I said, we have Wonderland and then we have You Are In Love and New Romantics. And then we have five songs that are what I believe. You can correct me here if I'm wrong. And if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but this is how I decided to do it. Our new songs. I decide now. I'm going to react to Wonderland, You Are In Love, New Romantics, and then we end this part. And then part three will only be now my cat is here. Um, it's gonna be from the vault. So are we gonna do the vault for part three? Shut up, Kimbo. Just play the next song. Yes, okay. So the next song is Wonderland. Flashing lights and we took a wrong turn and we fell down a rabbit hole. You held on tight to me. Nothing's as it seems. I love the I'm piano. Spinning out of control. Didn't they tell us don't rush into things? Didn't you flash your green Whoa. eyes at me? Haven't you? Fast face. What becomes of curious minds? Ooh, didn't it all seem new and exciting? I felt your arms twisting around me. I should have slept with one eye open at night. We found. cat smile oh she's getting sleepy now i'm sorry i'm sorry like if you love cats and exciting i felt your arms twisting around me we found wonderland you and i got lost in it and we pretended it couldn't last forever it's such a trippy video
Yes, this song was pretty damn close to a little banger. I enjoyed the song. You know, basically, it was nothing wrong with it. I loved, like, she went from this soft verse that I liked, and then to this fast pace pre-chorus that I also liked, and then we had this, once again, a little softer chorus, but then we had this bang. It's very electronic album, and so far it's been, you know, really good. I enjoy myself listening to this, and I also got this, uh, and I think it's because of this eh, eh, I got this uh, Rihanna umbrella vibes as well, and uh, I, I love that she's flirting with many genres in this album. Overall, really good song. What's the story behind the song? I... I think I didn't pay so much attention about what this song is about because of the trippy video, but I think this song is about more of... She sang about this rabbit hole in the beginning. We fell down a rabbit hole and then Wonderland feels like it's it's symbolizing um, this world. Uh, okay, if I put in like a perspective, when I'm trying to sleep, I have so much trouble falling asleep. I, I, I can't fall asleep some nights, or many nights, I should say. It's gone so bad that I take medication for it, basically. When I'm laying there and, you know, all the thoughts are running in my head, I, I, I can't press the off button. I, I just can't relax. I can't think about one thing and one thing only. I think about 15 things at the same time. That's where I am when I'm going to Wonderland, because I'm lost. I'm lost when I'm there. So I think that's what this song is about to me. Could be different for you. I don't know what, 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 what the song means to Taylor, but, but that's what it means to me. I like this song, I do. So let's head to the score, and uh, my score will be, it will be an 8.5. I think I'm ready to move on with the next song called You Are In Love. Good intro. One look, dark room, meant just for you. Time moved too fast. You play it back. Buttons on a cold, light hearted joke. No proof, not much, but you saw. You could see it with the lights out 
What a twist. God damn. Where am I? Am I wrong here? At first I was like, okay, this is, this is a sweet love song about someone you really love. But then in the second chorus, that confused me. That confused me so much. And this is where you need to come in and tell me more because here, this is where I was like, Okay, you are in love, but the person you are in love with says you're my best friend. Does that mean that you basically got friend zone here or what? I'm I'm confused because I, I, I got this very nice vibe. <laughs> very nice vibe in the first verse. I was like, yes, this is a sweet, beautiful song about love. And it doesn't take away my my, my thoughts overall, but it was it was confusing. It was very confusing. You keep his shirt. Ah, shit. He keeps his word from four ones. You let go. And here, here I was like, wait a minute. One step, not much, but it said enough. Does this mean that she's describing a person who are in love with someone and that person are in love with someone else or or in love with it. I don't know. This was very confusing. And I want to know. I want to know, but I don't want to Google because I want to I want to connect with you guys. So I'm not going to Google, but I really want to do that. <sighs> God, this was so confusing. It's a good song. I I like this song. The only thing that confused me was the what was the second verse. But yeah, overall, it's a good song. I'm not going to talk so much more about it because I'm stuck here about the second verse so yeah i love the melody i love i love the lyrics don't get me wrong yeah i i i like the lyrics but it was a twist for me i could be very very wrong what was this like him or her confirming that when when he or she is saying you're my best friend is that you know my, my wife is my best friend too but i didn't connect that line in this song with like your soulmate is your best friend it, it felt like you you just got friend zone. I'm not gonna talk so much more about it because, but I'm gonna give this song a another 8.5. Swifties and non Swifties, if we have non Swifties here, we are on the last song for this part. And then we have part three, the last part where I'm going through the vault. So let's wrap this video up with new romantics. We're all bored, we're all so tired of everything. Baby
video of me reacting to Taylor Swift banger album. So far it's been a banger album. I gotta confess something here. I've been so wrong about Taylor. I know we have had our ups and downs in the comments sections regarding my thoughts, regarding my opinions, and I stand by what I've said previously. But I'm, I'm gonna say something that I haven't said in my reaction videos. But, I have ha but I've had a thought in my mind. Let's go with this. I'm just gonna give it a score straight away. I'm gonna give it a 9.5. This song, ladies and gentlemen, according to me, is a banger. And I have no idea what this song is about. I just was so in it. I was in the moment, I was in the groove, I was in the vibe, I was in the melody and everything, but I have no clue what this song is about. But it made me glad, it made me, it made me positive. You know, I, I like myself a good positive song as well. I don't need heartbreaking ballads all the time. I, I like these songs too. And you know it, I, I gave, I've given Taylor Swift such high scores and that's why I need to confess something here. I have an announcement to make and that is, I've been wrong about Taylor Swift. And what I have been wrong with, I thought after my second part of Folklore with my wife, we haven't recorded part three. I'm gonna give you some details. It's not a big deal, but the, why we haven't recorded part three is basically because we don't have the time for it. My wife is working with horses. If you don't know, now you know. Race horses, I think that's called. Gonna ask her. Hensling. Bra av hästar säger man. Hello, pretty. Säger man racehorses. Ja. Thank you. I tried to get to say man you let drop. Och det betyder race. Bra. Bra. Okay. Thank you very much. She's working with the. What did she say? I already forgot. Trot racing. Trot trot racing. I don't know. I think you get what I mean. And that's why we don't have the time because she's working a lot. So that means when we have quality time, we don't want to record. And that's why I or we have decided that I should continue this Taylor Swift journey alone because I want to record, I want to do this because and, and, and I don't want to wait basically and she's fine with it. So we are going to re record part three, but we don't know when. So that's the truth. So nothing has happened. But anyway, I, I'm, I'm gonna confess something here about my thoughts on Taylor Swift. I think I had, and I think I, I spoke about it in uh, the first video that maybe I have like a lot of preconceptions towards Taylor that oh, she only writes songs about heartbreaks and and she does, but and, and it's nothing wrong with that. But I think I also had this preconception that maybe she's a little bit over overhyped. The scores in, in folklore are, are still the same. I haven't listened to any song from that album since then. And, you know, that that's just not my cup of tea. But I also know that album was not like the, us the, the usual genre that she's, she does. She's more of this pop girl with country and rock influences and I like those songs and it's all about musical taste and musical preferences but I gotta admit that I thought after we recorded the second part of Folklore that maybe maybe Taylor Swift isn't for me maybe I'm just gonna sit here and react to 1989 and be like here we go I'm gonna get so much hate and and stuff but 
I gotta admit that I I was wrong. I was wrong. She she writes amazing songs, especially in this album, and uh, I just felt that I need to confess that I had some thoughts about Taylor Swift, and uh, I don't have those those thoughts anymore. And I'm not doing this to, to please you. I do this to be so honest and and telling the truth as much as possible you know if i think a song is a four out of ten i'm gonna give it a four i'm not gonna boost it to to please you or please me or you know stuff like that this is my honest thoughts and i gotta admit i felt i need to do it because maybe some people who have seen my previous videos where i'm like oh this song was bad and stuff like that. i i know i said some tough words but i i still believe that I think I got I, I give one song like a four or four point five or something or maybe a three. But yeah, I gotta admit I was very wrong, and uh, I hope you like my honesty. Basically, I'm, I'm I'm not saying this to please you or like saying oh I'm sorry I've been so wrong. But I gotta admit that I was wrong with my thoughts about the, about uh, Taylor Swift. So yeah. I guess we end this video on good terms and I'm very excited for the last five songs because correct me once again if I'm wrong these it's new songs right don't forget if you haven't done it already to like this goddamn video and if you are new here and don't want to miss anything on this channel because this is not the last album we're gonna react with Taylor Swift yes that's the truth so yeah don't forget to subscribe if you are new here and uh, want to see more of my awesome videos with my awesome subscribers. We are a one big happy, happily family. <laughs> I can't speak. We are one big happy family here. And if you have any thoughts, as always, drop a comment or two and I will reply to you as soon as I can. And until next time, until part three or the next video, I wish you all a beautiful day. Stay safe out there and be happy. Stay happy and be nice. I don't know what I'm talking about, but yeah. Have a good day and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.